everyone. We're going to perform a manual payment in Intact. This actually used to be called manual check until the 2016 release number four, where Intact made available other payment methods to use, such as charge card, cash, and record transfer. This feature is accessible via cash management underneath the activity section, also under AP underneath the activity section. We're going to go ahead and click the plus button here. Now, as you can see, the default is check, but we can actually choose any of the various payment methods. The business case for a check could be you receive some type of a delivery and you need to get a check out of the door outside of the standard AP process. In this case, it could be a handwritten check where you just save and confirm the transaction, or you can save and print and print out a new check from intact. The other business case could be that a vendor called you about an overdue bill. In this case, because they called you and it's overdue, you might pay for that bill via credit card over the phone. How would you record that? Well, you would select the charge card here and be able to enter your transaction. We'll go ahead and select check. We'll go ahead and select our bank account. Now, as you can see, because we use pre-printed checks, it's going to take that next check number that is set up within our checking account. We're going to input all of the fields in red, starting with the date of the transaction. We'll insert our vendor. That next check number is going to be the actual next check number. We'll put in a value or a transaction amount a bill number because we require it. We can also insert an attachment in here to support the transaction and a memo that will describe further what the transaction is all about. If you're subscribed to multi-currency, you'll be able to put in your transaction currency. In this case, we'll leave it at USD. I've got a smart rule in here which won't apply to many companies, but this just allows me to kind of tie out the total. So for my instance, in this environment, I'm going to go ahead and put in $1,000. The section down below will allow me to kind of code the transaction. So if we step back a little bit with this business case, we're going to go ahead and debit our expense and credit our liability accounts payable. And in the same step, we're going to be able to debit AP, our liability, and credit cash. So it allows us to do a manual payment all in one step. So in our entry section, I'm going to go ahead and select something that's in my office expense space. As you can see, my transaction amount will default to the amount that I've listed up here. I can go in and put in my department if I've got one. And because I'm transacting inside of the Tech Wonders entity, it's going to default to Tech Wonders. And the memo will default to the memo up top. If I did want to show additional details and perform any additional dimensional tagging, I can do that. Also, if I'm, if I'm an administrator, I can change the way this overall entries layout looks as well. Now, the options that I mentioned in the previous business case would be a handwritten check. So in that case, I just save and confirm. But if I actually needed to save and print out a check from Intact, I can go ahead and click on this button. And what Intact will do is open up another window with the actual check. So I can print it out. Once I've printed out the check, I'll want to make sure that I come back into the manual payment screen and click the confirm button. Let's just say that something happened. I need to actually void that check. I can actually perform that action here. But let's just say everything went OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and click the confirm button. We'll hit confirm and we'll move it out of the queue. That's how to perform a manual payment.